My name is uh, Pedro da Silva Pinto. Um, I'm part of a band called 340 Mil, and we're originally from Mozambique. We're actually a South African band made up of four Mozambicans, and the reason is because we kind of formed the band in South Africa. We, we kind of came to South Africa as four students, and we ended up getting together to jam and just for fun, and we ended up forming the band. Uh, we grew up listening to a variety of different sounds that m probably most people growing up in South Africa didn't, weren't exposed to. Uh, coming to Johannesburg at, at, at the time, um, we were ex also exposed to music that, that wasn't really huge in Mozambique, South, South African jazz and, and, and Kwaito and South African hip-hop. It was kind of at a time where there was kind of small revolution of South African music. Uh, people were, were being a bit, a bit more adventurous in terms of the music that they made. When we came, the music market was kind of fairly segregated in terms of sound, genres. We kind of tend to hang on to elements of certain genres that we enjoy and we tend to fuse them into our, our sound and that's why the sound of 340 Mill is a really, it's a mix of, of a number of genres. <laughs> Besides Mozambique, um, we've been to, to Angola, Luanda, we, we had a really awesome response. We've been to Zimbabwe, uh, we played Haifa, which was amazing for us as well. Tanzania, we had, we had a, a really interesting uh, experience in Tanzania. All in all, I think the places that we've been um, and us playing to audiences that have never heard our music, it's been a really positive experience for us. It's kind of a clean slate where you walk out on stage and there's no one singing your lyrics back to you. And it's, uh, in general, in, in Africa, it's been, it's been really well received. Her only wish is her name is on the guest list. She doesn't have to wait in line. I think by default our, our sound changes. Every time we rehearse our live set it changes. It's kind of one of the things that, that 340 Mill is incapable of playing the same set over and over. Uh, one of the things that we enjoy doing the most is, is just grabbing our old songs and revamping them and approaching them from different angles. So I think we're always, we always evolving in terms of our music and um, I think the next album is going to be, I don't know what it's going to sound like, but I think it's definitely going to be interesting. Our second album is called Sorry for the Delay. One of the reasons being that we, we use a lot of uh, delay as, a, as an audio effect in our music. Uh, the other obvious reason being that, that it, was, um, it was released five years after our first album. We had a, a following in, in Johannesburg and, and in, in Mozambique where people were just always asking us, you know, when's the next album coming out, when's it coming out? And we didn't really want to rush it, we, we knew we weren't ready. So we took our time, we, we definitely took our time and, and that's kind of like us saying sorry to our, our followers for waiting such a long time, but uh, I think that's how we work, you know. I'd like to see the band making a really interesting third, third album. Just making interesting music, which is I, th I think it's, it's kind of the fuel that, that keeps us all going. Of course it would be nice to have to have some success and tour the world, and, but I think, I think if you focus on making, doing what you do best, which is making the music, and if you put some heart into that, I think pe people notice that. People, people notice hard work and, and something that's, that's got a good vibe, and it'll kind of spark from there. <laughs> 